With Omicron cases surging, Amazon, Meta, Twitter, and others will not be sending teams in person to the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in Vegas in a couple of weeks. This has multiple companies postponed the return to offices. But for those who are in the office, or will be, one company is working to help keep employees as safe as possible. Joining me now is Larry Gaddia, the founder and CEO of Envoy, a hybrid workplace software company. Larry, I can only imagine, uh, I don't know how long exactly Envoy's been doing this, but a couple of years ago, this sort of hot desking, you know, culture was sort of like a hippie workplace thing that was, that was edgy, you know. Uh, but now everybody needs it. How much have you had to shift your strategy to accommodate that? Hey, hey, John, and also thanks for having me. It's 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 incredible just what's happening in the world right now. But here's the thing, right? Like people are always going to be with uh, other people. They're going to want to be with other people. The community of any kind of workplace is big. And hey, you have to keep on adapting in this environment. So we've been building products literally nonstop ever since the beginning of the pandemic. And it, be it vaccination checks, be it uh, testing, tracking, be it any kind of hot desking to make sure people are coming together on specific days, uh, whatever to help these companies kind of keep track of everything logistically and, and really make that workplace experience be great for everyone in the process. Now, I imagine one of your biggest challenges has to be platform integrations, whether it's ServiceNow or Salesforce, Slack or Microsoft, right? There are so many large organizations that already have a footprint on these platforms and would want access to these kinds of services. How are you doing at that, particularly with the shortage of talent out there? No, it's a really great question because it's it's as companies go back, everyone's trying to figure out exactly what is the best way for my company to make this seamless for everyone. The best way to get the data to make those good decisions is by integrating with lots of different products. Our products just integrate with the ones you listed and, and just so many more, everything around door access, everything around even like just how is space utilized and and when you bring that all together, you can say, hey, these people come on these days. These people come on other days. And, and this is the safety risk. This is like all these people on this floor are vaccinated. And, and you can be much more confident there. And it's like this is the kind of thing that, that these companies really need to know. And you can't get the data and, and be confident about things unless people are willingly wanting to use the things to, to provide that data, like uh, when are they coming in, which days, and, and those checks. So, yeah, it's really important. Experience is really key, and, and you got to build products from, for that. From an operational leadership perspective, how are you approaching growth? Uh, I, I imagine uh, venture capital funding is uh, pretty available to you at this point, but also the overall macro outlook a bit unclear. So how much are you leaning into growth and spending? Uh, how much are you maybe holding back? Yeah, I mean, at the beginning of the pandemic, at first we were like, oh, no, this is our core business. We literally sell the workplaces and they're all required by law to close. But it turns out uh, people, employees were in these situations at home where they had bad Internet. They had construction going on. They had weird child situations that happened and they didn't they couldn't be there all the time. So they needed a place to go and their offices needed uh, to open in small amounts at the, at the beginning. But what happened is these people now had an environment where where they could be safe. They needed to be safe. And these companies need to be conscious of the fact that that people need to be safe. And as they people kept on coming back, this is how these products got built. And yeah, I think people are just really in really finding that, hey, it doesn't have to be that different and, and it can they can start rebuilding again.